Oh boy, we got a special video. And in honor of San Diego Comic Con that's happening like, I'm gonna say really soon, Tomasi have now three brand new San Diego Comic Con SA figure releases. Well, exclusive. Uh, event exclusive, well, well San Diego, the SDCC event exclusive, Super Saiyan 2 Team Gohan, Maj Vegeta, and Raditz. And also the main get figure zero Gogeta, but eight uh, eight no cable figure zeros. Moving on, because of that, I decided that I'm going to review this figure that came out last year for San Diego Comic Con, and this is the event exclusive SA figure Super Saiyan Two Son Goku. In my opinion, what in my home opinion, Super Saiyan Two Goku is an underrated form for Goku. I, I don't see a lot of people talk about. It. I love the I love Super Saiyan 2 Goku versus my Vegeta because that's my all time favorite fight in the anime, and uh, <laughs> and having this guy in my collection makes me happy because okay you know what I have him now I need my Vegeta over okay. and I'm like oh that's right I forgot I sold my old my Vegeta <laughs> short story I need, short story I need the money so I I sold my I sold my original copy but hey. They sent they sent a Comic Con version to happen really soon and I'm, and I'm and I already know that your boy could get a hint on the Prince of All Saiyans. And once that and once that's done, I have every version of Vegeta in my collection. Oh uh, yeah, you can't tell I'm a Vegeta fan. Moving on. So yeah, I had I bought this guy last year from Big Bad Toy Store and uh <laughs> let me tell you something. This guy this guy is fun as hell to play around with. Articulation wise, eh, posing as well. Tamashi nailed a bag out there. Now, if you can't get this version, this guy, the Demonical Fit version that came out, I think this year, is also good from what I was told. So, so, so that's like the second option for you to have uh, for having a Super Saiyan 2 Goku in your collection. But, uh, well, yeah, let's get on to the figure. First off, this scope is the exact same scope as the other 2.0 Goku. Yeah, yeah, it's nothing new. I'm just going to be honest. Let, let me show you. So, here we have Super Saiyan. Here we have the Van Exclusive Train 21 Super Saiyan God Goku. And here he is with, uh, with, the, with Super Saiyan 2 Goku. And it, it, it's the exact same, uh, it's the exact same mold, you can tell. Because this guy, because while this guy had 2.0 body, this guy is a mixer of his 1.0 self. With me, well, yeah. <laughs> I mean, he's a mixer of the 2.0 Goku body mold, but also a mixer of, of the brand new, of the past mold too. I mean, the old, the old mold that he had when he, when the original Super Saiyan God Goku came out. But uh, yeah, back up. But yeah, but, uh, yeah, let's go. On, let's go on to this guy. Let's go on top of why I love this figure to death. Articulation. How good is he? Well, this is how far his arms go. I will say this. You, you do. I will say this. If you want his arms to go full out like this, you gotta. You gotta bring. You gotta bring this up like this. And that's pretty much it. This is how far he goes from here to here. Oh yeah, he's a little tight, but uh, I had the guy since last year. And here, this is he 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 can pose like this. And what I love about this guy is that he poses. You can make any pose with this guy, and it'll look way better. Hell, if you're a big fan of Dokkan Battle, you can make any Dokkan pose you want to with this guy. Just saying. Look, you can you can literally make any pose from Dokkan Battle about the, with this guy, and it it looks so cool. What? I love it. His neck, his neck had like a rotation you can do. Just be gentle with it. Mine's a little loose, but uh, yeah. oh yeah, that happens too. 
again, I just said my copy, my copy is a little loose. My copy is a little loose. But uh, yeah, he does. Yeah, my copy. Uh, his head pop off at times. But overall, he's so good. Oh, yeah, I love Super Saiyan too. One of my favorite. One of my again, it, it's an underrated form for me. But having this guy. By having this guy in my collection, oh thank God! And yeah, he's way better than the full power of Super Saiyan Goku. That figure, while while it isn't the best, well not the worst, it is a complete piece of crap. And uh, yeah, and yet yeah, that's the only accurate version of, of, a, of a regular Super Saiyan Goku we're having. That's his figures. Damn, Tomasi really fucked up with that figure. So let's go on to accessories, cause believe me or not, Tamashi went all in on this guy for his accessory. So to to, to clarify, so to clarify them when they say that, oh yeah, the, uh, to clarify it then when they say that this is uh, Super Saiyan Two Goku, they get this man for his aura effect. Electricity effects because Super Saiyan 2 has like a lot of electricity effects with him. And uh, the translucent too, I love that. They gave him two two big ones, well, two long ones, and two small ones. And uh, these things are really, these things are really something. So look on, so look on to the face before we get to the uh, hands, because yeah. So he comes. So he comes with three faces, right? His angry face, the face that uh, he. Oh, let me show that. The angry face, the face that he used, that he was he used when he popped when he popped the Super Saiyan two when he was fighting Maj Vegeta. His screaming face, the face that he used when when he turned Super Saiyan three. And he also. Oh, and his serious face when you're about to shoot that one key blast of Pink Kai. <laughs> Here we have his open, his open palm hand. Well, his key blast hand that I like to call them. Moving on. To be fair, every FC figure had the exact same hand because Tomashi repainted them many times. For the Z fighters, I meant to say. Here we have his intertransmission hands. I don't remember Goku using his transmission when he went Super Saiyan 2. But hey. You can hey, you can recreate that one fight fight. You can re you can recreate that one scene from the cell game when Goku put his intertransmission hand on his on his head and his goodbye in, in the one hand. That, that look like this, say goodbye guys, while teleport south to King Kai's planet. I say that because, funny enough, right now I'm re-watching Kai, I'm on the Freezer Saga. <laughs> so, I'm in a DBZ mood right now. So yeah, here we have his Kamehameha hands. And here we have Goku's regular, here we have, uh, well, Goku's regular Square up hands. He's like, yeah, boy, screw up. I'm about to beat your ass. Like, hold on, Goku. You can't beat his ass yet, my boy. And oh, yeah, here we have this. I love this fact. I use it for all my pictures for every Super Saiyan figure I have because this worked perfectly for them. It's translucent, too, and uh, it's hopefully, it holds up pretty well, and I love that. You'll see more of this in the picture, so just... just just to be completely fair with you. So now, for moving from that, let's go on to size comparison. And, um, and since this is another DBZ video, because the last time they like a DBZ video that you guys that you guys love was the Vegeta video. Here we have Trunks. Now you know that I'm not the biggest fan of this figure. And here we have well. And here we have 
Vegeta, which is well, Super Saiyan Vegeta. This guy, this guy is a fucking contend. This guy is a contender for top ten for this year. <laughs> All right, move them out of the way. It's and I since my Vegito, since my my since my well my my event exclusive Vegito is all uh, is already in his box already. I, here's my. Here's the God Goku from last year. Well, from 2021. This guy, oh boy, I remember when this guy came out, 2021. People were not having it, and uh, they were mad at Premium Bandai. <laughs> and here you have Beerus as well. Here we have Piccolo. I need I need to get a Super Girl Piccolo because this Piccolo is pretty trash. Here we have Lord Draken. And also just because it's also a six figure. Here he is with uh Well, hold on. Let, 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 me, let me pick up. Let me move. Let me take Piccolo out, okay? Here with Zeal 2. And yeah, overall, what are my thoughts on this guy? Alright, just gonna be honest with you, I actually love this figure. <laughs> he did make it to the top 10 last year, unfortunately, but uh, he was an honorable mention. And uh, the more I play with him, the more I like this guy. Because, damn, Tomashi took all the good stuff from, from the past previous Goku and made this guy work. He's solid, good articulation, he isn't loose, he, he, he has amazing effects as well, and the halo in the halo right here is a uh, top is a get get freaking extra brownie point because here's the thing, you could you, you can take this off and you can make Goku look like a he well not dead, but but you can also keep this on because well this is well this is the version of Goku that this is the version that Goku well fought Majin Vegeta in the Boo Saga. <laughs> Personally. Personally, I prefer keeping the Halo on him because because that's how I got the figure. But uh, hey, yeah. But overall, but overall, this guy's very really solid. Now, fortunately, you can't get him anywhere due to the fact that uh, he is a San Diego Comic Con exclusive from last year. Also, he was on Premium Bandai after after SDCC ended last year. And but I didn't get one for Premium Bandai or SDCC because I never went. I never went to San Diego before, but uh, I bought mine from Big Bad Toy Store. If I remember, he was around like I think eighty bucks, and uh, yeah, he was worth it. <laughs> but yeah, overall, this guy is really, this guy's really good. If you want to find one for yourself, have fun looking out on the out, have fun looking on the aftermarket. But hey, besides that, there's also the Monica Fit version that that represent. Well, Super Saiyan One Goku, but but the version the version go Super Saiyan Goku that fought Cell, and also that also that version also have a Super Saiyan Two head scope, head scope. So yeah, I didn't call the figure. I think the figure called Majin Buster, but yeah. Overall, if you like if if you like the video, like, comment, subscribe, follow all my social media in the description, and I'll uh, follow my follow my Trish account, Trish TV slash Books Out Fifteen. Because later I'll be live streaming when two hours from now, Spider-Man Marvel Morales New Game Plus mode, and uh, yeah, come by and hang out, and we'll be playing Spider-Man, talking about well, just chat about whatever on my mind. <laughs> and uh, yeah, guys, my name's Aaron, and I'm out. Enjoy the pictures. Bye. Hi. Right, forgive my for, for, forgive my crappy room, but uh, I forgot I for, I forgot to show this on the video, but uh, here he is next to the. Well, the ultimate Gohan. Yeah, he's doing pretty well with it. <laughs>